comment allez-vous On va continuer la suite du jeu Gridfall. Oh, mais quel genre d'endroit est-ce que c'est que ça Vignamri. Hmm. On va frapper à sa porte. Ou on l'ouvre directement. Oh, c'est grand. chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face. And it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Parlez du marchand venu de son village. I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Onol Manawi who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaic say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaic say respect and listen to, are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. Accept it. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisagnameis. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island, especially the kings of Hikmet. But I know mm. we could learn many things from them, and we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago, but I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life, because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaigse. He could be attacked at any moment. Alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? On va l'interroger sur son clan. Tell me about your clan. We are called the Seasignemeis, the Bone Blowers, because it is in our tradition to sculpt more mill bones. These creatures are the great kings of the sea. The whole island knows of our artisans. We trade with other clans a lot. And we also trade with the Renaixe, of course. Anything else? Son village. What can you tell me about your village? Vignamri means the king's bones. It is a very ancient village. It used to be one of the largest on this island. Before the people of the sea tried to take Tiafredi from us, some battles took place very close to here. Legend has it that this is the place where the first guardian fell, and that this is the reason why our village was given its name. After the battles came the abductions and the ransacking. People used to disappear frequently. We were taught to be cursed. But I changed all of that, and I gave our clan its prosperity back. Anything else? Ses relations avec les colons. What do you think of people from the continent? Many of our people would love for all the Renaigse to leave, but I would not. It is thanks to them that I was able to breathe new life into Vignamri. They have a lot to teach us. The Loyans have powerful weapons and very effective potions. The Lugaid Blau, your people, offer us very beautiful things in exchange for our pieces of art. Lugaid Blau? Is this what you call the congregation? It means yellow eyes, because there seem to be round yellow eyes on your flags. They are coins. 
Mm. And what does Teleme offer you? The men of the sun seldom come here. But their magic is powerful, and so different from ours. I wish my brothers would understand how much we would benefit from an alliance with you. From making peace. Anything else? No. Nothing. I must go. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. And to what do I owe this honor? Parler de l'alliance avec Ulan. I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief from the village of Vignamri. He is an open minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, member of the Ulan clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful. If the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Please, help me! Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. I never thought I would see several islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? You are insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased an Anaixe away, and he cannot sell his products. Adloreda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donea Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the Governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. <laughs> Ulan, I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. We are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement. Okay, j'espère que tout se passe bien. Attendre à l'extérieur pendant deux heures. Okay, je peux y aller. 
Allez, demander comment s'est déroulée la rencontre. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the chief of the village of Igugsob, is at the Nea Exregao. He is among those who think that the people of your Royland are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding. Allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... We am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. At the Redar. We will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. Ok. Oh, c'est quoi, c'est un renard, c'est trop mignon. Il a des bébés. C'est des renards. Euh... Alors, on va rentrer. What are you doing here, and I say? Your coins are not welcome in my village. D'accord, c'est sympa. Bon ben, bah, on se casse. Hein. Parler de l'alliance avec Ulan. Ulan, the king of Vignemri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaixe. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's mm. emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Exregal, a proud man, not a slug. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. Je le comprends. Jouer sur sa fierté. The Donea Exregao I have met were fearless. And yet you were running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness. Nothing else. Oh, not Fradi. The worst part is that you are right. I cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Foyn, I will meet Ulan and his emissary, but I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lambristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. Okay. Congratulations. Huh? This is some fine legwork. work. Convincing a man that stubborn and full of hatred could not have been easy. Ouais, merci. Okay, on y va. C'est trop beau la nuit. Oh. Euh, bonjour, messieurs. Mordun is willing to meet you at Landristel to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Lan Ristel means Glade of Promises. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. It bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes. I will follow you. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. This Ulan is about as forthright as a backtracking donkey. I'm almost certain he's plotting something. I suddenly feel the urge to go to Lan Ristel. I hear it looks wonderful this time of year. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now. 
Hmm. Ok. On n'attaque pas le cerf, hors de question les gars. Avec le bruit de l'eau, c'est trop beau. Et là on entend un bruit bizarre. D'un mec qui pousse un cri bizarre. Donc euh, je n'ai rien dit. Page du journal d'un voyageur. À l'orée du bois, en prenant la route au nord en direction du cœur de la montagne, j'ai vu sur le chemin à gauche derrière les buissons un pont qui menait à un coffre. On se demande bien qui a laissé un coffre dans un endroit pareil. Sûrement un trésor note. La nuit commence à tomber. J'irai voir demain. À l'orée du bois, en prenant la route au nord en direction du cœur de la montagne. Thank you for coming. You saved me. Data Karset Ulan. I should have known he would betray us both. My men are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. You were deceived. Just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, on Olmanawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. Je suis déçu. Je suis très déçu. Pardon, pardon. Fouillé Attends, tu peux même trouver des, des champignons sous les feuilles comme ça hmm, Qu'est-ce qu'il va nous dire Traitor, this meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mortum was a Danaea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves, if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am sorry, but I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger, but keep in mind that we are now at peace, thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri, and should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. Ouais, vaut mieux qu'on s'en aille avant de, de que la colère euh, elle monte trop, tu vois. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You mm. could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but Someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes. But since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search? It's a proven technique. And I can assure you they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get a sleeping potion. Then we'll go see Dita. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? On peut l'interroger sur son rôle de maître d'armes. What is your duty as master of arms? Besides teaching us how to fight. What was my duty, you mean? It's all in the past now. In truth, you may have guessed it, but my main role was to make sure that nothing would happen to you and Constantine. 
Without, of course, turning you into some courtiers that are afraid of steel. You have to be considered trustworthy to take on this role. But alas, it isolates you from the rest of the guards. Always at the courts, but never really belonging to it. I spent almost my entire time with you without seeing my comrades. Anything else? Tell me about your family. Were your parents in the guard as well? Yes. And to be truthful, I never knew them. I was entrusted to a wet nurse, a prostitute, and followed the troops. I remember her. She was sweet, and a good person. She may be the only one who showed me any kind of affection. But that didn't last. As soon as I could hold a wooden sword, I was given a real one and sent to training. Anything else? No, I must leave you. You did all. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? Parler des livraisons de boissons aux notes. It seems like you are sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dita, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Mm. Oh, le Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. After such a blow, I may well win a deal in San Mateus. But I'm pretty sure I'll lose the one I already have. You will have to find another way to perform your little joke. Sorry. It looks like my plan has fallen apart. I'll have to be discreet. You should dress like a knot. And maybe take a haze potion. Yes, good idea. No. It would oh, be nice. better if you go there at night. It will be much more discreet. We can wait here if you're ready. Attendre I'm ready. We just have to wait for nightfall. Mm. All right, it's dark enough. It's time to move. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disarde. I don't have the key. Where is the key? Je crois qu'elle est là-bas, ça doit être ça, non Là, là, là. J'ai la clé. Bon, là, on fait comme si de rien n'était. Je vais attendre que le gars s'en aille pour ouvrir la porte. Il ne regarde pas, n'est-ce pas Oh, damn What's that bloody key again Je ne sais pas où elle est. Est-ce que tu vas chercher ou pas Va-t-il chercher Je ne sais pas où c'est moi. Dossier personnel complet de Vasco volé à la capitainerie du port de nouvelle sérène Je suis impatiente, je veux savoir moi aussi. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra. Son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit that I had no idea they had given a son to the Norts. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco. 
But growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. N really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Norts care to admit. C'est super touchant. Est-ce que je peux lui parler un peu? De Sarday, can I do anything for you? Uh, si le regret d'avoir été donné aux Norts ou ouais, bah ouais. Do you wish you were never given to the Norts? How could I not be regretful? I never got to experience a mother's love or a lavish youth. Lui demander s'il n'a pas connu de moments heureux, lui dire qu'on est désolé de ce qui lui est arrivé, lui dire que la vie de marin l'a rendu meilleur. I'm genuinely sorry you did not get to live the life you were supposed to live. Ah, it's not your fault, Desardé. I presume that it was destiny. You were supposed to be a prince, and I was supposed to be a sailor. Did you want anything else? S'il n'avait jamais entendu parler de sa famille. Had you ever heard about the Darcys before? No, I had not. As you know, there are many noble families in Serene, and there was a time when a lot of them had to give a child to the Norts. C'est lui dire qu'il serait sans doute fier de voir ce qu'il est devenu. I am certain that they would be very proud to see that their son is now a famous captain. I doubt it. Once we're taken away from our homes, we become anonymous. The nobility see the Norts as nothing more than a necessary evil. We are no longer their children. Did you want anything else? C'est super. I must leave you. Triste. Bon bah merci. Tu m'as foutu le moral à zéro, Vasco. J'imagine que tu l'as aussi à zéro. Monstre. Et alors là, par contre, page du journal d'un prêtre itinérant. En allant à l'est pour aller vers nouvelle sélène j'ai entendu des voyageurs parler d'un trésor qu'ils auraient caché derrière l'arbre solitaire sur la falaise. Je crains que ces gens ne soient des bandits et que ce fameux trésor soit le fruit de leur pillage. Que le lumineux me vienne en aide. Ramasser. Contrat d'intrigue enragée. Marchands, soyez prudents, une de ces bêtes que les natifs appellent d'intrigue attaque les caravanes et tout ce qui s'approche du nord de la rivière. Ceux qui empruntent le barrage naturel qui permet d'accéder à Tyr Dob doivent être particulièrement prudents. Une récompense est offerte à qui tuera cette bête enragée. D'accord. Greetings. What can I do for you? Parler de cet avant-poste. Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city, with the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? No. Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade. Emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Merci. Your gods! Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so called gods. You are demons. They burn. 
They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Renounce your gods! <laughs> Inquisitor. Euh, bon, eh bien, comment vous dire, j'ai choisi mon camp. C'est vous, j'ai choisi mon camp. You, you wear the mark of the impure pagan cult of the natives. I am Inquisitor Aloysius, and by authority of my title, I order you to explain yourself. The mark on my face is by no means impure. You are walking on thin ice and are close to committing a grave diplomatic error. Diplomacy? If the truth of the Enlightened is obscured, then our relations are tainted and of no value. Answer my questions, or receive the punishment reserved for heretics. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Insister sur son rôle diplomatique. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well. I leave you in divine hands. This time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be mm. aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. You are now under the stern eye of the God of Light. Hope that your underwear is clean. It seems like you do not hold the priests of Teleme in high regard. It's mostly that I do not trust them. They're hot-headed. But you did a good job. Merci. Young lady, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you. And then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence. In the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute. And I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. 
The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here, where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to His Majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sardé. What can I do for you? Sur San Mateus. Tell me about San Mateus. It is still a new city, of course, but it is already the beacon of faith in Tia Fredi. Many Teleme settlers gathered there to walk in the footsteps of our prophet, including, of course, many missionaries and inquisitors. The conversion of the island population being our main concern. Les missionnaires. Who are the missionaries? It is an order that aims to convert people. You must have met some of its followers in Serene. Most of them leave the comfort of Teleme to visit other countries to spread the good word. This once relatively minor order has become quite significant in recent years and has established itself in politics in the highest positions of our nation. Uh, Lordo Luminis. What can you tell me about the Ordo Luminis? This is our Order of Inquisitors. Its members are associated with a very pure version of our faith. They are in charge of tracking down heresies and ungodly cults and accomplish their tasks with zeal. The discovery of this island and island magic is obviously a real challenge for them, which sometimes leads them to behave a little out of passion, as you have seen. Petrus. You seem to know Father Petrus well. What can you tell me about him? He is a brilliant man, a missionary, who always favors cunning and diplomacy over force. He has traveled to many countries to bring the light and gain support. He is also an ambitious man who has long hoped to become a cardinal, but I'm sure he will fervently bring you all the spiritual support you may need. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Constantin, ah oui. Je sais. Alors, est-ce que je peux parler à toi? De Sardé. I'd like to know more about my family. I need mm. to know what became of them. Could you okay. accompany me to see Lady Morange? Mm. I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. Okay, okay. S'en occuper maintenant. All right, Vasco. Let's go see Lady Lorraine Morange. Bonjour, euh, madame. On voit votre genou qui dépasse de la robe, ça fait bizarre. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course, Lady de Sardé, isn't it? I hope mm. that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? Poser des questions générales sur Nouvelle Sérène. What can you tell me about New Serene? It's a new city whose construction began not long ago. When mm -hmm. I arrived five years ago, there was just a port, a fence, and some huts here. The businesses, the barracks of the guard, the palace, and all of the houses sort of sprung up from the ground. To see how impressive it is today, even if it is still far from its majestic mother, is incredible. Of course, with such expanse, all kinds of 
bandits, drunkards, and other lowlife have arrived, but I'm very proud of it, in spite of everything. I hope that your cousin continues this work. What do you know about this island? Much less than I would like. The land is still wild and extremely rich. Its soils are full of minerals, some of which are unknown to us. With regard to the flora and fauna, you've probably seen how different the creatures and plants are here. Mm. The islanders protect their land fiercely, and we cannot begrudge them that. When you see what we have done with our own, well, such a source of richness attracts greed. You seem interested in the islanders. As a matter of fact, I find their culture fascinating, but I can't say I know much about them. They are quite secretive and protect their cult and traditions from the curiosity of strangers. I know that their sages, they call them Donegada, are the guardians of their rituals as well as of the island. They have very strong links with nature and the creatures that inhabit it. They're also good healers. I could talk about them for hours, but you will learn more from the islanders themselves. Mm. C'est bien. Les rapports aux autres nations. What can you tell me about the relations we have with other nations? We play a difficult role, caught between these two enemy nations who are nonetheless our allies. The smallest action could tip the balance and draw us into their conflict. If I may offer some advice, be very careful. We do not want a war to break out here. Hmm. C'est un petit warning, les amis. Ok. Interrogé sur la famille Darcy. We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastien Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business, but that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Do not worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? No, 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 c'est bon, merci. My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Mm, bonjour. Can I help you? Are you here to do business? Are you Madame Clerk? We would like to meet with your associate, Mr. Darcy. Bastian? I don't know where he is. I can't say that he often graces us with his presence. You don't have the slightest idea where he is? I am not his caretaker, you know. You don't seem to hold him in high regard. Listen, my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern. And if you didn't come to do business, well... Alors soit faire croire qu'on vient collecter une dette ou alors tenter de la convaincre, je pense que c'est mieux. Ou de la payer mais non. We must find him. This man you can see by my side is his brother. Do not insult my intelligence. I know that the Darcy's only have one son, alas. You can see the Nort tattoos on his face, can't you? And a merchant like you must surely know about the Nort's recruiting process. So it is true. The Darcy's gave away one of their children. I find it hard to believe. He was supposed to go to Hikmet to deal with one of our clients, but I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam. Hmm. 
Bon, eh bien on va voir demain qu'est-ce qui est arrivé au frère de Basco. Hein je pense que je vais arrêter le live là parce que malheureusement je vais devoir y aller. Oh là 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 là. <rire> Comme ça, ça nous tient en haleine pour la prochaine fois. Suspense, mes amis. Suspense. Mais euh, merci beaucoup d'être venu. J'espère que vous avez passé un bon moment avec moi. Euh, je vous dis peut-être à demain. Si jamais vous venez demain, prenez soin de vous, c'est le plus important. Je vous dis à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Merci encore d'être venu.